Okay, so this is just a little continuation of the previous video. I want to elaborate on 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 a little aspect of this, which which I didn't touch on in the last video, which is how do you actually expect expect people to 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 uh, sort and match each other, like teachers and students to sort and match each other in the real world. Now, one way you can do this is that you imagine there's a utilitarian dictator who looks at all the data, does some mathematical calculations, and then figures out whom to pair with whom. But, but, but then the other question is that how would you imagine this happening in sort of a free, free market or a free exchange or in sort of a voluntary negotiation way? Would you expect, expect that these conclusions hold if, if people are just voluntary negotiating as it happens in the marriage market and maybe in the teacher student market as well? Uh, if the, well, not quite. I mean, both markets aren't, don't quite work in this complete free negotiation way, but, uh, but, but can, can that happen? Can it happen that well? And the answer is sort of yes. And, and to understand that, let's, let's just go back here to this, this situation. So you have these two teachers and you have these two students. And let's say the students have to pay the teachers for the privilege of, of learning from them. And let's assume that both the students have, uh, let, let's say, let's say they're not like, not, they have enough money and all they can pay the teachers. But they, and, and each student, the student performance, we'll assume the student performance sort of measures the, the utility that the student gets and uh, crudely measures the money that the student is, they're willing to pay. So both students have like the same willingness to pay for a given amount of performance. So now the, so maybe each student is willing to pay one dollar to improve his score by one point. And, uh, okay, and, and now, now the question is sort of, let, let's say, in, let's say that, that this student, let's go on here, looks at the two teachers and says, oh, obviously I prefer this teacher. Because this teacher gives me a better score. Okay. And, uh, and then this teacher says, okay, I'm going to charge you so much. And, the other teacher is uh, maybe willing to charge a little less. Okay. And now this person has to decide, okay, you know, these teachers are charging me so much and I have to decide how, how to do this. And, and so far, so good. And maybe depending on what the teachers charge and sub the student decides which one to go. Uh, and now let's say that this other student comes in here, the better student. Now the better student Maybe is depending on whether you have this greater than zero or less than zero here. If it's greater than zero, then the better student is more desperate to get the better teacher, right? Because the better student knows that the that the same uh, differential in teacher quality can lead to a greater increase in his score, and he also knows that that the greater that and because his 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 like willingness to pay is proportional to his score, increase in the score, then so he is more desperate to get the better teacher, which means that now, now, now that we have these two students competing for these two teachers, the way they, their bargaining will go will reflect this, will reflect. So if, if the, if the mixed partial is greater than zero, then the better student will, will be willing to bargain, will be willing to, like if you imagine that teachers are auctioning themselves and the better will be willing to pay more in the auction for the better teacher and the other student will get stuck with that. Teacher. On the other hand, if the, if the relationship is negative, then the better student is the one who's less desperate. And so it's the, it's the, it's the not so good student who will, who will be willing to pay more if they, if the teachers start auctioning themselves or if there's a bargain. So that's how in practice you'll, you would end up getting either the straight thing or the cross thing, depending on this. The way it would, the way it would work out in practice is through, through some kind of a bargaining mechanism. And, and it is, it's, it's kind of easy to see the, that this, uh, happens will happen could happen across more than to be obviously we don't expect the actual matching to match exactly the way it's supposed to be but but that's that's a mechanism through which this would be realized if if the students and teachers were negotiating and because you could do the same in the marriage market right if you have uh, the the males and the females are trying to uh, woo each if you assume just say that the that it's just the females who are trying to attract the male so you could try to do both ways but, but, but basically depending on how they negotiate, maybe more, uh, uh, more subtly than just offering to pay money. But depending on how they negotiate, it's the, these different, these things will determine their willingness to negotiate. And that's how you would, uh, you would get such a result in, 
enough in with voluntary exchanges.